Welcome. It is the Kettlebells and Ketone Show. I figured out, I'm just having dinner. I figured I'd talk while I eat because I'm going to go to the gym after dinner this evening. I'm going to let my food digest for about an hour and then go and get in my 200 swings, which I will talk about in a second. I figured out what the feedback noise was. And it's the guitar. I realized that whenever I was speaking loudly, it would echo. See, can you hear that? Hello. Anyway, so I figured that out. So I need to put the guitar somewhere else when I'm making any kind of videos and minimize the echo. Anyway, I'm just having some macaron scrambled eggs, good fats, omega threes, good fats, uh, egg yolks, very good for you. Apparently dietary cholesterol, raising your cholesterol is a myth eat eggs they're very good I buy organic eggs from Tesco's they're very good it's worth the spend anyway I'm going to the gym this evening after I've eaten and after I have relaxed for a little bit today's day four of the 200 kettlebell swings a day and I gotta say I'm very tired <laughs> they're having the desired effect um, I need to eat more because I'm obviously using more energy to do this thing. I'm at the gym every day, even if it's only for half an hour to swing the kettlebells. Um, it's extra work. So I need to eat more, keep my food up and uh, sort of rest when I can. But I'm really enjoying it and I can't wait to go to the gym tonight and just get them done. What I... Um, no, forget that. I also want to work on how to rack the kettlebells properly because... I figured, oh, I realized, I started reading, I read a lot of articles about stuff, I guess. I realized that when I was swinging the kettlebells up and getting them onto my shoulder, I'm putting them sort of on my shoulder here in order to push up. But apparently you should have them here with the kettlebell resting on your forearm and your forearm sort of um, at right angle to the floor. And then you can push up. So I've watched some instructional videos on that, on how to rack the kettlebells properly. So I'm going to try that. And then this evening I'm gonna get some lighter kettlebells and try a little bit of a a flow with which would be like swing, rack, press, squat, and all that sort of stuff. I follow a guy on Instagram called Primal Swolger, uh, and he is a bit of an inspiration at the minute. He's a guy that works at the Onnit Academy, I think, anyway, from what I've seen. And uh, his Instagram account is Primal underscore Swolger, and he just does kettlebell complexes all the time. And he's got a YouTube account, and it's very good to watch. So I'm going to go this evening and uh, do a little bit of that. But yeah, like I said, I'm very, very tired. It's having an effect. It's day four. Um, but I'm really keen to keep it going for the full 30. One other thing I'll mention. This is my MBNA card debt payoff grid I owe £3,000 on an 0% finance card um, which I've had for a couple of years and it was when I moved into this flat I put central heating in and that's where the £3,000 went so I've written a grid out with three lots of 10 squares and every time I pay £100 which is £100 a week I'm going to fill in one of the squares it feels really good to be handling my finances a lot better than I was I am not like this is any big achievement. I think everybody should pay their own debts off and everyone should pay their way. But I've upped my working hours. Uh, you know, I got a second job as well to supplement my income, uh, which won't be forever, but for now it's working very well. And I'm very excited to get this paid off and then just start putting money in savings. It feels great. I feel like such a productive member of society at the moment. I'm working hard, I'm working out hard, I'm eating as well as I possibly can, with a few exceptions, but everything's going superbly, and I'm just very excited. I'm very full of full of life at the moment. I was going to say very zesty, I'm not sure that's what I mean. Um, anyway, that was 4 minutes 44 seconds so far of nonsense. I hope... I won't, I won't bother saying what I hope. I'm just going to finish eating this and then I'm going to get to the gym. No doubt I'll film it. I think I might put together some sort of montage. At least when the 30 days is finished of where I started out 
some video about how my technique was at the beginning and how far I've come. And also to show how my body's changed. I can already feel it in my forearms. I can feel it in my shoulders up here. I can even feel it in my chest a little bit. So we'll see how it is at the end of the 30 days. Um, also tonight, I'm going to take an easy night at the gym, so I'm not going to do too much. Like la for the past couple of days, I've done my 200 swings and then I've worked on things like get ups and lunges and squats and things like that. I'm not going to do that tonight. I'm going to do this, the swings and then I'm going to do some weighted carries, which is one kettlebell each hand, one down by the side, one racked here and just walking. Very good for your stomach. It's actually harder than it um, would sound. Anyway, thanks. Thanks for eating dinner with me. I hope everyone's had a good week so far. The weekend's coming soon. Finish strong.